Hello everybody and welcome back to another Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. This is season 3, episode 5. Oh my god, okay. 4,722 hours. Did I say it right? <laughs> Me and you, maybe we could oh, this is when... somewhere else. Somewhere. When she got sucked by that, by that thing. Oh. Six months has over 4,000 hours. 4,722 hours. Oh, what in a different solar system? How do, you, how do you know you're not breathable, oxygenated? Okay. She's just realizing she's gonna die. Prince will find a way. After all, we're going for dinner. Six months waiting for Fitz. What is it you always? He say? did it. Is it a good idea to fall asleep in a weird planet? You don't know anything about? That's beautiful, at least. I want the sun! No, you don't. You don't know if it's like a giant sun and you're gonna melt. Aww. Is it going to be an expensive place? I've already picked it. Should I wear a dress or would that be weird? Great. Oh my god, poor Siemens. Is she hallucinating? It looks dirty and not drinkable. Oh, yeah, Siemens, are you sure? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would not, not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Swim in a hole like that, even in my own fucking planet. Don't swim on it. In it. Also thinks I'm food. You want me? Oh my me? god. Here I am. It's dinner time. Come and get it. Oh my god, Simus. Your dinner, bitch. <laughs> Woo! Then I made a fire, cooked him, and ate him. And then I burped really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Actually, no, I don't. But she's getting freckles, I like if she was so under the sun. So I won't eat that. He didn't give up. Are they planning to cook her? Is she exercising? Holy shit. Oh, that's why she wanna go back. You're going to eat me. The planet affects it. Either way, it's evil. This whole godforsaken planet is evil. This is why she wants to go back. She wants to save him. Through the hands? Can you like rip them, take them off, or something? You're a doctor. NASA sent us here with all the power we could ever use. It just doesn't it's work. Solar. In case you haven't noticed, there's not much sunshine. Warm. It's a sun? It's a natural source of heat. Keeps the planet warm without sunlight. That sounds very sciencey of you. I think it's the fires of hell. <laughs> Brubaker set himself on fire. What the hell? You still think I'm making all this up? He's been here for 14 so years, so girl. No reason for what happened to them. Maybe I went crazy. Maybe I killed everyone. Holy I shit. Didn't. You have no idea what the hell's going on here. Don't 
will provoke him. You talk about him a lot. His name is like your favorite word. I mean, that's... It's my favorite word, too. Hmm. Seems like a good idea. Then you should stop talking to yourself. At least you're talking to yourself and not to a fake fit. <laughs> From the castle that we saw? Girl? Got your pants for me and I'll see you soon. Aww. Goodbye, Fitz. I'll see you soon. I totally understand why she wants to go back and rescue him. It's impossible to cross, Gemma. We'll never make it. Didn't you say you can't resist doing something when the odds are impossible? I knew that snake would come back to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, hurry. <gasps> no. Well, obviously. That's sad. <laughs> Try again. No hope on this planet. That's what I used to think. You changed that. When you showed up. If you kiss, I swear to God, I'm gonna. No. I think my dad would have liked you. Stop it, Gemma. Fitz! Sometimes you remind me of... <sighs> it's Fitz! He found a way we're going home! <laughs> Not in love with him, though. Right? Well, they came for you. But I never would have survived without him. Talk to me, Fitz. I need you to understand. I understand everything, Gemma. Well, then why won't you talk to me? Because he's thinking. What are you doing? We're going to get him back. Oh, my God. Fitz, the best human being. Oh, she's gonna have such trouble deciding between the two of them. Well, she shouldn't, because fits. But, you know. I guess I understand that she developed emotions for this Will guy, because they were prisoners in a freaking deserted planet. And, you know, like, shit's gotta happen, because... When you lose hope and you think you're gonna die there and the other person's next to you, I guess I guess it's it was it was a normal thing to happen. Like I I I, I understand. But now she's back uh, with with Fitz. And she's still thinking about Will. Which of course they spend a lot of time together and I guess they loved each other in the wrong circumstances or because of the wrong reasons and she wants him back I hope that she only wants him back to you know to bring him to his planet and you know for him to continue leaving or whatever and not to be with him because Fitz I don't know man this this was sad and Fitz oh my god 
He's like the best human being ever. He wants to get him back because Gemma wants to get him back. And I'm sure that if Gemma picks Will, he's gonna be happy. Fitz. Fitz gonna be happy because if Gemma's happy, he's happy. This is a type of love that, oh my god, I'm tearing up. This is a type of love that we all should feel and it's just, it's just too much, Fitz. Fitz is just too much to me and I love him so much. Everybody should learn about love with Fitz. It is, it is the best kind of love I have ever seen in my life. And I love watching my Asian doramas. Those have a lot of love. Not like this. Not like this. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me. And as always, I'm Sara Miano and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan. I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan. I'll never be a man.